Hello dear. How are you today? What are you thankful for? Have you been writing down three things every single day that you are thankful for? If, um, if you like this practice, then uh, you can share with me on the comment. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Three things that you are thankful for. I want to do this at least one to two times a week video and um, but every day every day I write them down on my website as well as on Facebook what I am thankful for my project has started on October 9th October 9th that was on Friday uh, that I started this new project that I want to write every single day I commit myself every single day for the next for 365 days writing on my website or or on my Facebook fan page what I am thankful for and if you like the the new uh, the project that I start follow me follow me I will put the link on uh, the description and uh, you can see what I write and um, maybe that will inspire you to write because um, what I know is that um, when you um, when you write it down and you say it, you mean it, then the universe will answer whatever that it is that you want. Is um, that's what it is the uh, the law of attraction. You attract the energy that you put out. You put it out good energy. You will draw back good energy. And uh, if you are a, a good person, honest, nice person, you will attract good people in your life. I believe this very much. And uh, that's why I am doing this. I did it in 2017 or 2018 for, one, for over 100 days, for 150 days, about. So I did it for about... Uh, four or five months and now I want to do it for one whole year let's see I hope I will commit to this every single day till October of 2021 all right so don't forget to follow me and um, subscribe and then we will we'll get through this together this crazy time together and uh, very soon life will hopefully get back to normal so for today, what I am grateful for, I'm grateful for a beautiful day in the neighborhood. The weather has gotten better. I was able to resume my bike riding on the afternoon and morning. Yes, finally. It's been weeks, probably two, three weeks that I couldn't go outside my house due to fires wildfires here in California but lately I I sense that the sky is uh, clearer and there is no smoky going on so uh, I'm able to go out uh, to ride my bike 20 minutes or so in the morning and 25 to 30 minutes dinner time um, after dinner and I'm very happy I'm happy to ride my bike and during that time, writing with no interruption, no music, no TV, no internet, there is no... So I feel like while I'm writing, I'm meditating in life. I'm, I'm reflecting and it's such a, a good feeling. I never knew that exercising can be this fun. I guess um, they say that Meditation doesn't have to be sitting down in a lotus position. You can be washing your car, you can be uh, cleaning the floor, or riding a bike, or taking a walk. You can meditate. Meditate can be at any time, uh, uh, any given time, as long as you learn to focus your mind and to give positive thought or not thinking at all. Just dip 
breathe in and out. And that's very good and very, very good for your mental health as well as your physical health. So uh, I'm very happy that I'm able to do that again. Simple as that, but when it's taken away from you, it's, uh, when it's taken away from you, that's when it hurts. And that's why never take anything for granted. Not not single thing, not single day in your life take it for granted, okay? <laughs> that's what I'm learning to do. Number two. I'm thankful for our family health. Everyone is healthy and happy. Thanks God. Yes. Um, it can be scary during this time when um, people seem to forget there's still uh, a pandemic still going on. Uh, the cases are still up in America. But when I scroll through my Facebook page, I see a lot of people gather together, taking pictures, parties, birthdays, all kind of celebration, and it's just scary because, um, you know, I, I guess some people forget um, it's still happening right now, the coronavirus. So um, I'm, I'm thankful that my children are still fine. My uh, baby, Jaden, is fine. Um, he's going to have his birthday. Why well, he celebrated his birthday uh, with his uh, mom and um, his friends and mom friends. So this week is our time with him. So I'm grateful that he is healthy. I'm looking forward to uh, do a little bit of decoration just to make him happy. You know, kids, they like to see decoration. So uh, I'm grateful for that. Uh, just remember that um, be very careful out there. And um, we're going to make this together, through to this together. Uh, only a couple more months. And once we have the vaccine, then we can loosen up. But at this time, just be careful. Number three, I'm thankful for a successful interview on Friday's night. I was a bit nervous before it started, then I pray. I was at ease after. For almost 40 minutes, we, we talk and carry through our conversation so well as if I knew her years ago. And um, I did not feel um, anxious. Um, and I did not even feel that I was on air for some reason. Um, I guess I no longer have camera shy. I was. At, in the beginning of doing this YouTube, I was very shy in front of my camera, which is my phone. I'm still using my phone to uh, record today. Yeah, I was very shy before. I. Um, but now I, I don't have that camera shy. I feel camera is my friend. I'm talking to camera just like I'm talking to you, to my friends, to my family. Uh, I'm glad that I, I passed that and being able to sit with perfect stranger whom I never met and talk. She asked me many questions, I answered. But it wasn't so much of a question and answer. It was just a conversation that we had um, I, I like it. I just don't know. Um, I don't know when they will air the interview or if they already air. And I don't know if they even have it on um, online um, on online because I would like to see how I sound. But I, I knew that I, I was very comfortable talking to her. Uh, we have a great chemistry, I guess, because um, we have the same size as Pisces and sensitive woman. And um, before I went for the interview, of course, I like to know who she is. I check out her music, and I love her singing. I, I listened to her before. I just didn't know her that well until recently. And I just love her um, being in the entertainment business for since she was only uh, 12 years, nine, 10 years old, 12. To this day, that's 
decades. We're talking about six decades later. That's a long time. That's a lifetime. I wasn't even born when she she started uh, when she already was famous, and to today, she's still good with her vocal. Um, I just wish that um, when I am in my 70s, I'm still active like her. And um, one thing different is um, she is a uh, movie star, she is a singer, she is an, um, a songwriter. Uh, I, for me, I love all of that, but um, I'm more into speaking and written words. That's me. So um, I'm, I'm, for that, I'm not way concerned of my looks. I'm gonna keep my look the way it is uh, for as long as possible. I will not do any kind of uh, plastic surgery, no matter how old I will be or how old I will look. Um, unless there is, you know, unless for medical reason. Other than that, I will give myself the way it is and. Um, um, to me, beauty is not from the outside so much, it's from your heart. Um, when you have a beautiful heart, um, it, lasts, it lasts a lifetime. And um, that's what I uh, love about the profession I chose, which, which is a writer and public speaker, because with that, um, my, cons my, in, my uh, focus is in intellectual word, you know, sharing, um, inspiring. That's what I love to do, and uh, I'm really happy. I'm really happy for having uh, the opportunity, the knowledge the, um, to do what I'm doing today. Um, so, uh, so this is my. This is Monday, October 12, 2020. These are what I am grateful for. So I do hope that you come up with three things that you are grateful for and continue on that uh, positive vibes of feeding it with positive and um, even 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 you are in a difficult situation do not focus on that too much instead write the opposite back in the day uh, I had a lot of um, issues years ago and I used to focus on a lot of issues and um, since I changed that from negative to positive, my life has improved slowly, but it has improved financially, um, health-wise. I used to have a lot of health issues, uh, financial issues, love, life, all of that, uh, all of the problems went away because I feed it with positive. And, uh, I hope this will inspire you to do the same because um, my happiness is to see my loved ones, my family and friends happy. All right. So uh, um, I thank you for um, watching my video. And um, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please do so. I need to have uh, raised my uh, subscribers counts. By the end of the year, I'm hoping to reach 1,000 subscribers. Right now, I'm close to half. Not quite yet, but close to. So uh, please subscribe and um, ask your friends to subscribe or your children to subscribe to my channel if they can. <laughs> yeah. Um, other than that, uh, take care and um, be safe and uh, be safe out there. I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye. Um, so this is the English version. I'm going to write in Vietnamese and speak in Vietnamese in my Vietnamese channel, which is Nhà Văn Như Y. I will also put a link on to this description later because I want to keep my Vietnamese uh, uh, speaking separate, separate from English. Last time I did it together, but I was told uh, it got confused for some speaking English uh, speaking people only so I was like okay I'll keep it sep separate all right I'll see you on my next video take care for now bye bye